Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'm a filmmaker in Austin, Texas. Today I want to talk about the DJI three channel follow focus. Uh, it's a really exciting tool for filmmakers. We use it all the time with our Ronin 4D and the high bright monitor. And I noticed online that there isn't a lot of information out there about this, about how much functionality and excitement this actually brings to the filmmaking process. So we're gonna go over the functions of it and um, see why you should definitely get one. DJI three channel follow focus. Let's get into it. On the body of the three channel follow focus, you have seven controls, the record button, the limit button, the multi button, the iris slider, the zoom rocker, the autofocus button, and the focus wheel itself. I'm gonna go in detail over each of these buttons and their functions. First, you have the record button. This might seem obvious, but that's what you do to start recording and stop recording. Uh, a red light will illuminate showing you that you are actually recording. Next, you have the limit button. The limit button is what you use to set hard limit points on the focus wheel itself. You'll feel a pretty, pretty tough amount of resistance at that point. You could push past it if you want, but basically you can set, okay, I'm gonna set it at one feet and then I'm gonna pull it to the other side, set a second limit point at the far end. Let's say, let's, let's say 12 feet. Next, you have the multi button. What that will do is similar to the limit button, except that it'll add slight bumps between the two ends of the limit. Those slight bumps will, basically if you have to do a more complicated rack focus between different subjects. The iris slider, is going to allow you to control the f-stops or the t-stops, whichever you're using. After that, we have the zoom rocker. This is actually pressure sensitive and will work with your zoom lenses to engage the zoom. On the rear side, you have the autofocus manual focus button. This will let you engage the autofocus if you prefer not to use follow focus if you're following a more complicated subject and you need to briefly engage the autofocus. Lastly, we have the focus wheel itself. It offers three different levels of resistance, strong, medium, and weak. You can change and access these by double tapping the multi button, and it'll display on the high bright monitor confirming which resistance level you've chosen. Strong being what we prefer, gives you the most fine grain control over the focus. Weak, allowing you to move quickly between the focus points, and medium being a good middle ground between these. If you'd like to delete and reset your limit points, you long hold on the limit button and that will delete the limits that you have set and it will confirm this on the screen before you do it and you have to press OK. The same goes for the multi, long hold on that and it'll allow you to delete your multi points. Another advanced feature is when you hold the limit and multi buttons simultaneously down it will illuminate the iris slider and focus wheels for darker situations. If you'd like to see your limit and multi points displayed on the monitor, first turn off mirror mode, then restart the high bright monitor and the camera. Next, go into the menu system on the bottom right hand side of the screen and turn on focus metering. Then you'll see them displayed on the right hand side as you turn on and off your limit points. Lastly, how to install the high bright monitor on the three channel follow focus. If you have it in a cage, you're going to need to remove the screws from the underside of the high bright monitor. Don't lose your screws, set them somewhere safe. Remove the monitor. On the underside of your monitor, you will see pins. These are going to be locked into the connector on the top of the three channel follow focus. And then you engage the screws on the top portion as well. And now they are connected and communicating. Hey, thanks for joining me on this overview of the three channel follow focus and high bright monitor. I hope you learned something today about this and it gets you excited for your filmmaking process. If you do have any questions, drop it down in the comments and we'll be sure to answer those. Um, like and subscribe and go make something.